Welcome to video from thedishlife.com. A new Windows 10 build to look at. This is 21337 for Windows Insiders on the Dev Channel. And a couple of interesting changes with this build and effectively new some new features. So let's dive into what's new. The Microsoft does some work on the virtual desktops. You can now have individual backgrounds and you can reorder them. So let's have a look. So you can launch this with the Windows tab uh, button. And you see I've got desktop one and I've also got desktop 2 and a few builds ago a while ago they introduced the option to to rename them but now if you notice when I switch now it actually switches my background it's a little bit slow as you can see there but it actually allows me to have separate backgrounds for the different desktops so you could have a different sort of focus on each one so you can have a work one or applications one or a gaming one or whatever and and you can use this function to sort of really focus those applications in that particular area you can set individual backgrounds by right clicking and selecting uh, the background option there you go I can choose a different background on that and you can also move them around but you can you're not just through that option you can also uh, drag and drop them around as well Rather than sort of alt tabbing through loads of windows, you can sort of create yourself focused desktops, and uh, I think it's a nice feature, especially the being able to uh, change the background as well, so you know what you're working on. So I like that. So here you can see another change is with the file explorer. It's sort of the additional padding around it, so there's extra spacing between all the items. It makes it easier to use on a touch screen like this Surface Go. Um, and uh, more modern, it works better, sort of matches more modern apps as well. There is the option of changing it back, so I can show you what it looked like before. And it was in folder options, uh, it's a bit buried, but you've got view, and you've got somewhere in here. Uh, use compact size if I apply that. So here you can see the more compact view. So things are more squashed together. If you're using the mouse, it probably doesn't make that much difference, but definitely when using a touch screen, it looks better, I think, when it's expanded out. And if you've got a large, a high DPI monitor as well, it probably looks quite good as well. So that was, that's the main, uh, that's the couple of changes. Uh, there was a couple of other things as well. Auto HDR preview for PC gaming. So you can have HDR on your games. You get automatic, uh, that gets automatically switched on. There's over a thousand games. Uh, Microsoft have a blog post on that. Um, some of the inbox apps have had a an update, and by inbox, the ones that ship with Windows. So if you look at Notepad, there it's got a new icon. I've seen this on Windows 10X actually, and this is the the new uh, um, icon for it, and it's actually. Sw um, updated via the Microsoft Store rather than being um, built into the OS. So that means they can do updates to Notepad um, just without sort of relying on the whole Windows 10 build to be replaced. That's quite good and it's because it's got a new icon. Uh, another thing with the inbox apps, Windows Terminal now ships with uh, as an inbox app as well. Updated to the store but it's part of the uh, initial um, install now so you could get that as well i've been using that for a, for a while now and i do like that so that's good to see that that ships as an inbox app also the other one is power automate as well part of their sort of workflow type tools there you go power automate desktop i use the web version actually but it's good to see some new features coming to windows 10. the rest of the changes are fairly minor they've um changed they've improved the windows the emoji panel for more regions and they've uh, live preview for pin websites uh, the taskbar is now rolling out it's not on my machine yet but it's it's on the way rolling out to windows insiders uh, there's a lot of fixes with this bit build including memory issues um x64 x64 apps crashing on arm 64 have been uh, have been fixed as well and uh, some blue screen issues fixed as well. There's still some known issues. Um, the old favorite of uh, the build hanging for an extended period of time in there. There's some known issues for news and interest, but news and interest has gone at the moment. It should come back soon, but it's not there at the moment. Although some people are still saying they're seeing it. And there's still a couple of blue screen type issues, but again, you should read the 
notes, uh, which I've got on the dislifestyle.com and on Microsoft's got them on their website as well to see if it can affect you. Because as, we, as ever, these are development builds, so Microsoft are still testing things. So if you are on the Windows server inside a dev channel like this device is, then you expect some issues. So that's it. Thanks for watching this video. You can find out more on the dislifestyle.com.